Now we can take our simple program here and compile it to run on Windows. Now we've used the wired character data type here which uh, some people might have a problem with but it's actually very portable. It's implementation defined meaning it's going to be a different uh, size of data type depending on the platform. On Windows it's 16-bit on Linux it's 32-bit but since we're not really manipulating the bits the program doesn't care and it'll still work. Um, so if we want to compile it to Windows we need to install the MingW32 compiler um, wrapper and it just wraps the uh, compiler commands and passes them on to GCC. Um, on Fedora we can install MingW with the simple command like that and that'll install all the MingW packages. We've already installed them though so uh, we can just go and get a whole list of them. Um, I'm using my my uh, shortcuts to uh, get a list of files in here and uh, grep bin here. These are all uh, shortcuts that I've made and uh, you can actually see what uh, what is actually being done when I type RF it's actually typing all this in for me. Um, I guess files by package yeah, and then grep bin. Anyway, I've made these commands, these shortcuts to help me with the typing because it gets uh, fatiguing after a while. But anyway, um, this here is the name of our MingW compiler. Once it's installed and we found out where it is, um, we can compile our program with it. Uh, we're going to output uh, hi.exe this time for Windows and it just compiles with no problem. We can actually test the program using Wine which is the uh, Windows um, compatibility layer for Linux and see that it works before even copying it to Windows and testing it there. <coughs> we just made our first Windows program on Linux without leaving Linux. Now um, Another thing we can do is we can take that command there that we just typed in. Um, what was that command? Let's uh, find out there. Okay, this. If we want to remember that later, we could put that here in our make file um, and just call it like uh, mingw. <clears throat> and we can make another target for that. We may as well make another target for object dump too while we're at it. To your, um, run the compiler here yeah that works <clears throat> anyhow we've made it into our make file so we can compile it on Linux or Windows um, we should probably make add a clean target for exe too. There we go. There. <clears throat> Great. That's our project and we can make it any way we want. We can make it for Windows, we can make it for Linux. We can make the exe or we can make the uh, Linux executable by just typing make and we can test either one. Anyway, that's how to cross-compile on Linux and Windows.